CCC President Nelson Chamisa has revealed, in a devastating way, how deeply disappointed he is with the government's dead silence on the rising acts of politically motivated violence directed towards his followers. The opposition leader conveyed his shock at the deaths of four party members, who were allegedly killed by ZANU PF youths and state security personnel. Speaking to reporters during his visit to the family of CCC supporter Tapfumani Masaya, who was killed and subjected to severe torture by suspected ZANU-PF members while conducting a campaign rally in Mabuku. Chamisa emphasized the seriousness of the situation. Masaya's family and co-workers conducted a thorough 48-hour search before finding his body, which was bruised and beaten. Chamisa said, We have seen an escalation of this challenge, expressing his profound concern. We lost Mbanini Kyub, Mora Blissing Ali, a comrade in Gwanda, and Tanashi Chitsun Junglen Diu 7 in the last year. We also almost lost to Kudzwen Gadzior. What is shocking is that there is no statement from the government to convey condolences, to discourage this kind of tyranny and terror, to try and correct the settings of murder in the context of our elections. He said, emphasizing the lack of a response or condemnation from the government to these acts of violence. We are unable to even begin to discuss a lack of convictions. The people who are meant to lead the state are the ones who bear the brunt of responsibility. The worst outcomes befell the victims Chamisa highlighted. Youths from ZANU-PF stabbed Mbanini Kyub. A ZANU-PF youth in Nyatsaim severed Mora Blissing Ali's body, and Tanashi Chitsunj was stoned to death during Zimbabwe's most recent harmonized elections. Remarkably, Either the Justice Ministry nor President Emerson Umingagwa have commented on these killings. The police, who have said that they are initiating an investigation, have been the sole public entity to address the problem. Concerns have been raised over the state's commitment to safeguarding its citizens and guaranteeing a secure and peaceful atmosphere during the election process due to the lack of a response from the administration and the absence of any concrete actions to address the violence. In order to stop more violence and bring those responsible to justice, the opposition party and its supporters will not stop calling for justice and responsibility and pushing the government to act quickly.